Did I just make a big mistake? I feel there are so many options on this. First and foremost, people always say silver is silver. And that's true, but let's dive into this a little bit deeper. Let's look at the market. Can a stacker or collector make a killing buying and at some point selling MS70 coins? Okay, let's get into it. I just purchased my first MS70 Type 1 and Type 2 silver coins. This is a kind of an unboxing. I did get the one uh, uh, gram of gold. I always try to buy gold when I buy silver, even if it's so small amounts. Well, I was looking at the history of MS70s and the PF70 coins, the modern ones, the ones from 2010 to 2021. Most don't do well, but some do. And that few that do make up the difference for the ones that don't. So starting this year, I will attempt to purchase one MS-70 American Silver Eagle and a proof American Silver Eagle and maybe even a proof American Gold Eagle. I was reading an article in Coin Week that really influenced my decision. Now let me know in the comments what you think. Are buying these MS-70s or proof coins a big mistake? First, let me show you the mintages for the American Silver Eagle for 2021 so far. You see it's well over 19 million going on 20 million uh, Silver Eagles minted already. Now let's go to the PCGS uh, website and here are the totals for MS-70 coins. Now we're looking at just modern coins. Now remember, I am buying for this little project of mine only proof coins and MS-70s. So you can see that the MS-70s are far fewer in number than the total minted coins, which is usually in the millions. Now here are some totals. I see that the MS-70 can range from as high as 200,000 MS-70s to as low as 300. Now that does make them a bit rarer than your common bullion American Civil Eagles, which are minted in the millions, you know, down to 200,000 or, or just 300. Now let's look at the selling price, and this is at the NGC website. For a 2019 American Silver Eagle MS Mint State 70, selling for $240 versus the MS 69, which is only selling for $41. Things like this are what drove me or what drive me into buying the MS-70s and trying this new project of acquiring MS-70s every year or proof American Gold Eagles or American Silver Eagles. Now let's go over the article that I said inspired me. Well, let me go over a few parts of the article that I found uh, is really important for what I'm talking about. And I will leave a link in the description. So it starts off here, it says, the grading of modern US mint coins has become a huge cottage industry for the grading companies and major source of revenue for them, especially with the large bulk orders they receive from dealers but the grading of these coins continues to be especially controversial for a number of reasons. Some collectors feel that slabbing reduces the value of coins. No matter what grade they receive, they think slabs are like caskets and prefer to be able to view the coin more closely. Others are convinced that their coins are mishandled during the grading process or the mint capsules offer better protection than the slabs. I'm doubtful of both propositions. All right, then the article went on to say, perhaps most importantly, there is a growing preference among collectors and dealers for, for modern coins in the original government packaging, OGP, over the same coin in a slab of any grade or grading service. Some people view modern coins, which are graded MS-69 or below, as damaged goods. Now that says a lot there. That means if it's not an MS-70, it just doesn't hold the value. Now this is all from the article because I know that some MS-69s have uh, uh, returned good profits. Now the article ended with this. Finally, the market for MS-70 coins as opposed to those in the original government packaging is evolving. I recently attended a Baltimore Expo and had the opportunity to discuss this issue with John Robinson of 
Edgewood coin store in Florida. He told me that his company pays more for modern coins in their original government packaging than for slab versions, including the MS-70s, which surprised me. In his view, third-party grading is really only suitable for classic coins. But remember that some coins graded MS-70s are worth a lot more than raw or MS-69 examples. A case in point is the rare proof-only 1995 W Silver Eagle, which has a value in MS-70 that is 10 times its value in the original government packaging or MS-69. In addition, if you're trying to get a good price for an MS-70 coin, sell it to a company that specializes in modern coins, such as Modern Coin Mart or Atmex. And that pretty much summarized the article there. I really learned a lot from that. Now, as I said, I'm going to put a link in the description. You know, I was one that said I would never buy a slab coin. And now I have two. You know, like I said earlier, people say silver is silver. But if you dive in a little bit deeper, you see there are collectors that are willing to pay top dollar for a perfect coin, or should I say an MS-70 or a PF-70 coin. All right, well, I hope you learned something or at least got something out of it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Did I make a mistake? I would really love to know your thoughts on this. And thank you so much. And I also want to thank you so much for watching Cash and Coins. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as I always, always say, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next video.